Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. Today in this video we are going to learn how to cross generate tables in Power BI. First of all, thank you very much for watching my videos. I am getting very good reviews on all my videos. And thank you very much for supporting me. And please subscribe to my channel for all data analytics related content. And also please join my Telegram channel and a WhatsApp channel where I post job opening for freshers and data analytics content every day. Link is given in the description box. All right, now let's start the video. Guys, if you don't know what the cross join is, let me tell you. Cross join is used to generate a paired combination of each row of a first table with each row of a second table. This join type is also known as Cartesian join. Now let, let me explain you with the example. Suppose that we are sitting in a restaurant and we decide to order a meal. Shortly we will look at the menu and we will start thinking of which meal and a drink combination could be more tastier. Our brain will recover this signal and begin to generate all meals and drink combination. Suppose we have atom in our menu list. These all menu combination that can be generated by our brain. Cross-join works similarly as it creates all the pair combination of rows of the table that will be joined. Suppose we have a, this menu list in our restaurant. Suppose in meals we have a burger, pizza and fries and for the drinks we have a coke, juice and milkshake. So we, if we combine these two, we will get a different combination. So we will combine by using a cross join. So each burger will combine with a coke, juice and milkshake. You can see here, burger, coke, burger, juice and burger, milkshake. Same way we go with the pizza, pizza, coke, pizza, juice pizza, milkshake and so on. So, this, this is how the cross join works. So, each row will combine with the each row of a next table. Hope you understood the, what the cross join is. Okay, now uh, let's dive into a Power BI here. You can see that we, uh, I have imported the two tables, drink and meals. If you go in a table view, here you can see we have a drinks like Coke, Fanta, Mirinda, Shake, Juice and Pepsi. So, we have six items here. Okay, and the meals also we have a uh, six items. We have a uh, pizza, burger, fries, pasta, noodle, and sandwich. But in Power BI, how we can do a cross join here? As there is no relationship between these two tables, and also we don't have any common column between the tables. So how do we use the cross join here? So we have to do this in a Power Query. So let's move to the Power Query. So go to the report view here, and here you will get this. Use the Power Query Editor to connect. Click this drop down and go to the Transform Data. It will open the Power Query Editor. Now, here we can see that we have a two table, meals and drink. But here in the two table, you can see that header is not a first row. Our meal, this is our header. Okay, so we have to do that. So, what we'll do here? Here we'll just click this and we'll use first row as a header. Okay, same way we'll do for the drinks. So we'll click this table here. Instead of this, we'll go here. We'll get, get this option here as well. Use first row as a header. Click this option. Use first row as a header. Now here you can see that we have a mill where we have a six items, and for the drinks also we have a six items. Now, if we want to have a different combination of all these lists, we need to do a cross join. But as we know that we don't have a common column here. So, first of all, we need to create a common column here. So, for that, what we can do here, we'll go here to the add column and go to the custom column. It will create a new column for us. Okay. So, here we will write the name of a column as common. This is a common column. Okay. And we will write here a value as 1. Okay. If we press OK here, now here you can see it is giving one value for all the rows here. Okay. So now we will repeat this for the second table, which is a drink. Okay. So we'll go here again and go to the add column, go to the custom column and keep the same name which is common. Now, you might have guessed that we are creating a common column for both the table. Here also we are putting 
value as a 1. Okay, you can keep any value here. Press OK. And now here we can see we are getting a value for value 1 for each row here for the drink table. And for the meal also we have a same. Now we got a common column. Now we can combine this. Okay, for combining this what we can do here, go to the home here and we have to merge these queries. We, we got two queries now which is having a common column. Okay, so we'll go here in the merge queries. Okay, here we have a mill and we will select here, click this drop down and here we will select the drinks table and here select the common column which is between the two tables. We will keep here the left auto join and click OK. Now here we are getting a this after merging the table. Now we have to expand this and we have to we just want here the drinks. We don't want a common column here. Okay, so we'll click only the drink and we'll uncheck this. Okay, and press OK. Now you can see we get all the combination which is mentioned. Okay, pizza coke, pizza fanta, pizza mirinda, pizza shake, pizza juice, pizza Pepsi. Okay, same for burger, fries, pasta, sandwich. Okay, so we get all the combination here using the cross join. Okay, so we did the merging of a table by creating a common column. Now we don't want this common column so we can remove this and we got a all combination okay so this is a simple way of creating a cross join in a power bi hope you understood how to do it see you in the next video thank you for watching